All right, welcome back. Just got the uh, Nirvana IPA from Alma Game. I gave that a eight. You gave no, it a you gave it a seven. Seven. Okay. I gave it two scores. I gave it a six and an eight. That's from Zamil. Yep. A lot of bitterness, not much flavor. Now we're going to the clown shoes. I've had a couple with Steven, and I really liked them. That is Bell. Blakehorn Unidragon. Blakehorn Unidragon. So, this is a 12.5. Oh, shit. Um, let's hope that is good. I mean... Uh, yeah, considering I bought it. Uh, we do get clown shoes here in Oklahoma now, along with Six Point, along with Magic Hat. Um, there might have been another brewery, I'm not quite sure. Well, before I ever even pour this... How much for this one bottle? Oh shit. Um, I got this one and the uh, Undead Party Crasher for I think about combined was $16. So about seven fifty eight dollars a bottle. Uh, one of them was $11 which I think it might have been the that one. This one? So I think this one was actually more expensive. So for a 12.5 if it tastes good it might be worth then it. one bottle might be worth it. Yeah. Is this the Russian Imperial Stout? Uh, yes. Okay. So we're probably going to get a good amount of alcohol flavor out of it as well. Or a lot of people would, would call it the uh, the malt. I can I call it the alcohol flavor. I didn't pour very much. If I like it, I'm going to top my glass off. <laughs> so... It's a dark beer. I usually like these. Yeah. And you're not getting hardly any. Yeah, you ain't seeing through that, man. <laughs> yeah, no, no sense of trying. Well, I get a hard coffee smell from this. With a, a good amount of sweetness. Yes. The sweetness, however, is not overpowering at all. No. A little bit of a burn from the alcohol, coffee. <laughs> Definitely a uh, share me size bottle. For 12.5%, the alcohol burn is not existent compared to 12.5%. 12, 12 Old people should not text. I'm just going to throw that out there. Who's that? <laughs> My dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess we're going up to that medieval fair tomorrow. No, oh, yeah. He thinks I'm riding with him. He don't know when he gets here. I'm driving. He's riding. I don't care. We can take his car. Shit. But I'm driving. I don't like riding with people. People do not drive to my standards. We went uh, last year, and it seemed like, you know, it took 30 minutes to get there, and we were there for 15 minutes. I mean, I mean, we were there longer than that, but I mean, we really didn't see much in the time we were there. Yeah, like, with me, well, like, my dad, the only reason why he goes, he's kind of started a tradition with my kids. My son gets a sword every year, my daughter gets her face painted and wings. Yeah. That's the only reason why he wants to go. Oh, really? Yeah. He, he, I mean, we went when I was... I think the first time we went, I think I was like 13. So, yeah, and, but, you know, him and my mom usually take the kids, but my mom's got to work this weekend. He had to work today, so 
me and Cassie is going to go with him just because, well, two kids is a handful and that place is crowded. Yeah. You know. Y'all did go last year because we met y'all up there, huh? I don't think so. Or was that the year before? I never met you up there. Who was it? I don't know. I don't know. But I do have something for Daryl to read. GTI has prescribed you on YouTube. There you go. Appreciate it. That did come with the uh, last review, but I had so many notifications I didn't see it. So. Is that just someone different that subscribed? Yeah. Yeah. What does that put you up to now? Nine thirteen, I believe. Nine thirteen. Somewhere around there. Nearing that thousand, I might do another giveaway. Which, you know, by the time you see this video, I'll probably hit a thousand by then. <laughs> because I'm finishing up all the reviews with Jesse. And then uh, we have a whole line of reviews with Daryl. And then uh, the six or seven we've had since, uh, since that line of reviews. So. <laughs> and then plus I'm doing my vape uh, juice reviews. I have some uh, juice coming in tomorrow. Which you'll already see that by the time you see this. So, so as far as a you you post your juice reviews, you ain't as backed up on them yet, are you? Um, a little bit. I think I have um about ten or so juice reviews already saved on the computer, and literally I did it with uh, Jason and Jacob from Wicked Vapes, and I took the same exact juices over to uh, uh, Vapor Lux and other another place here in town and did them with uh, Josh I'm gonna combine those videos together so kind of get you kind of get of a different perspective and plus you'll see about you know what it tastes like fresh compared to what it tastes like a week later so yeah I think uh, I'll probably get with you I'll probably go start doing that um, yeah, that gives us one more thing to do videos on. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not. I need to give up my tobacco, but if I give up my tobacco, I won't be working where I'm working very long. <laughs> Why's that? Oh man, these people be pissing me off, man. Customers. <laughs> and uh, you can. And you at least, at least you could dip on the floor. Yeah. You can't vape on the floor, so. Man, they. I mean, they don't care. They got people. They. They don't put their cigarette out to the very last second, like. But going into these stores, these store managers thinking they fucking high and mighty king tup because they work at Papa John's making eight fifty an hour. And you just want to grab them by the throat and kick their teeth in. Um, for y'all that don't know, I'm. I was an over the road truck driver. Now I'm working locally. Total difference. I've definitely learned that I cannot stand people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Cassie wonders why I dip and drink so much. <laughs> yeah. I think this will be my last beer review. I'm feeling pretty good and I don't want to get too fucked up, so piss my wife off. Well, that's the reason why I would do it, but. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man, I haven't built up the immunity. You know, I've had so many damn reviews lined up. I literally haven't done anything for over a month. Yeah. Like I, I, the last reviews I did, with, I believe, was with Daryl, and that was about a month ago. Um, last time I seen Jesse was literally over two months ago. So. Yeah, okay. I know. I thought. I was actually thinking the other day when you texted me, I was like, man, me and Steven, we ain't, we ain't done nothing in a minute. Hey, it's funny because he was the last person I did beer reviews with. <laughs> I was like, 
Well, I was sitting there thinking, man, I come home just so I have more time for friends and family. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll probably come up here sometime. I'll bring some of my favorite juices and let him try them. See, thanks. And actually, some of them are kind of, uh, some of them are local. I am. So you could just go up right up the road and get them. Yeah. Yeah, second wheel. Fucking frogs. Yeah. I like this. I like it. Good sipper. Uh, definitely not a chugger for twelve and a half percent. We'll be regretting that. Uh, it's a little sweet. Get a good maltiness, good roasted maltiness. Get the coffee. I think it's worth the. Uh, I'd have to check, but I believe it's around ten dollars or so that I paid for it. Um, it. Might have been a little cheaper actually. Um, yeah, I think it was actually a little cheaper. Um, it's worth this money. Yeah, I'd have to get another one and age it for a year because I'm. This was a bottle on twelve three fifteen. I mean, you ain't gonna chug it unless you're a true alcoholic and you don't know your limit. You ain't gonna finish that by yourself. Yeah. So you toss twelve months on this. That that uh, sh the sweetness is gonna go down a little bit. The alcohol zing might kind of mellow out because of the, uh, the malts. I think this would be a great one to age a year, up to maybe three years. Uh, but yeah, I'll grab one and I'll age it a year. Uh, the same thing with another uh, clown shoot beer that we have in there. But I honestly don't think that I'm ready to do any more beer reviews tonight. So maybe next weekend we can do some more. I gotta. Let's take another six pack and uh, the Lavanitas and other clown shoes sitting in the fridge. We can do that. I'm home every weekend. There you go. I'm off on Tuesdays. <laughs> off on Tuesday, really? Four here, days a week? Here lately, yeah. We've just been working four days a week. Ten hours a day? Twelve hours a day. More every time we get done. Hmm. But, I mean, even, work, even working four days a week, I'm still bringing home about 800 a week. Yeah. I mean, the the last week that I actually worked a five day work week, I brought home like eleven hundred dollars. That was after taxes and everything. But a lot of damn money. They pay like excellent. Like my insurance for me legally, twenty six dollars a week. So my cell phone bills should be. Starting this next billing cycle, I get 30% off of my cell phone bill. I get 22. So, I mean, those, yeah, the company I'm working for, they treat you good. Let's just say they're in the beverage business, non alcoholic. Yeah. Yeah, the alcoholic one wouldn't hire me. Um, I had an interview with them. They asked me what kind of beer I drunk, and I told them not theirs. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That guy said, well, "So, what kind of beer do you drink?" I said, "Shiner Bach." He said, "You don't drink this one?" I said, "No." I said, "I would rather drink water." Are y'all still doing that? So, on a on a side note. Uh, I don't know the exact bill or whatever the hell it is, house something right there, but I'll put it right here. Uh, should be getting voted on uh, by the people since it'll amend the Oklahoma Constitution uh, in November. But um, let's just say, bud, bud is a major uh, opposer of this bill because they say it will lower their sales. They're just scared of the craft industry. And uh, it will actually modernize Oklahoma's uh, liquor laws, and I'll have a video coming up on that pretty soon before I get more more details on it. Uh, but I highly suggest that you vote you yes on it. Come around presidential election time. Actually, I believe it will be at a president presidential election time. Uh, oh, Trump. Uh, <laughs> but um, who else do we got to vote for? Clinton. 
I'll fucking, I'll stab you myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> look, I, I've said it. I'm so lost. I want to vote for the other guy, the guy that ain't even running. <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> I don't want to vote for Trump, but I damn sure am not voting for Bernie Sanders or Clinton. There might have a difference of opinion, so. With Trump, I mean, whenever I see him, I laugh. Hillary. Hillary's out there. She has done so many stupid things. Suppose from a husband. I don't care. That man's my hero. He got fired for smoking a blunt and getting ahead. I'm not going to dog him on that. He's my hero. <laughs> I mean... Bernie Sanders. Okay. He wanted to give free college. He paid for it. Well, that's my thing. Ain't nothing in life free. You know... I just Ted Cruz. He's probably banging five broads right now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> everybody's got dirt. Everybody, everybody has downfalls. What I want to see is a real common person run for office. I like a non non Christian version of Rand Paul. I think that's kind of. I mean, he's. He's for the Constitution, but some of the shit he says is, is not a libertarian stance. So, I mean, you, if you're going to be a libertarian, you're going to be anti-government, not anti, but minimal government. And, hey, you want to believe in Buddha? Go ahead. You want to believe in Jihad? That shit ain't going out here. You know, I don't care what their beliefs are. The This is... I was on, I was for Trump. Trump, hey man, he's going to do good for this country. He's a well businessman. Until he had his deal here in Oklahoma. I will not take your guns away. Y'all will never hear of that again if I'm elected. And then he's up in Oregon saying, first thing I'm doing is passing gun laws. You won't be able to buy a gun in this country. That was it for me. Because he's playing, where can I? You know, he's down in southern, deep southern, Georgia, you know, those places, screaming, we're going to send the blacks and Mexicans back where they come from. Then he's up north saying, no, we ain't going to do that. You know, I don't know where this is coming from. You know, he's, he's playing two sides of the fence that I don't like. Yeah, if you see the real world on MTV, that's, that's about what he's making his, uh, his, his speeches like. Yeah, I mean, I want someone that's just straight. Let me run for president. <laughs> hey, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get our troops from the Middle East. They're going to come home to their families. You know... Yeah, we're going to do something about the illegal immigrants coming over here. We're illegal immigrants. Yeah. I know my ancestors, probably yours, you know, it, it all boils down to that. But for someone to get in there, pull the race card to win the white communities, pull the guns to basically win... The white communities, I guess you would say. You know, and then you go up north and you pull the, I'm going to take guns away to win the rich communities. Okay, Obama, he hates guns. I can't stand the son of a bitch. You know, he won't even salute a, a Marine when boarding Air Force One. And that Marine's there to protect his ass. You know, his kids go to school every day. They have armed bodyguards, but yet he wants to scream about taking our guns away. My house is protected by the Lord and a gun. Simple as that. You know, fuck all these people. Guns kill people. 
that's what they're meant to, be, to do, but they're meant to kill the people that you know. I mean, intending to kill, not not your children or anybody else. I mean, I've never seen a gun get up by itself and pull its own trigger. Mm -hmm. And I've been around guns since I was a baby. My dad had guns. My grandpa had guns. I got guns. So what? I shot my cousin once. He pissed me off. <laughs> I shot him in the ass with the twenty-two. He lived. But it's a simple fact. Guns are not the issue here. That ain't going for us. All right. If you take <laughs> our guns away, that guy trying to get into a gang, he still got his. All you did was help him out. Yeah, a little bit. One second. Now, I party foul because I paid for it. <laughs> it don't matter. It's still spilled beer. See, my wife would be concerned about it staying with me. I'm more concerned about now we have to do another one because he spilled half of that shit. <laughs> we might do another one. Might be a long beer review for you. Uh, now, one thing I don't like, you know, I will not vote Democrat. Uh, I don't know about Daryl. He's voiced his opinion on Democrats and Republicans before. But. That's what I'm saying. Come Bernie Sanders. Which. We ain't got to worry about it. He's not going to win. It's no. going to be Hillary and it's going to be Trump running. Yep. I like Trump to a certain extent. I like Hillary to a certain extent. I like Hillary because I was a kid when Clinton was in office. And I know my parents was living good. And Bill Clinton is such a fucking idiot. He wasn't making any of the calls. Hillary was the one making the calls. Now, do I agree with some of the bullshit? Fuck, no. Yep. Now, Trump. I mean... He's two-faced. He's two-faced. He got a hot wife. <laughs> She's fucking on the side. I hope he knows that. If he don't, he's a fucking retard. But... The one thing I don't like about Trump... Yes, he can't be bought. That's what everyone keeps saying. He can't be bought. Mm -hmm. But he can buy whatever he wants. He's, I think, the third richest man in the world. No, he's, he's, he's not even in the top 20, I don't believe. Maybe not in the world, but United States. Yeah, he's higher. So, um, you know, the thing about it, he's a billionaire. So he can pay to get shit passed. One thing I do like, if he really does do it, he says if he wins office, that the money that he gets paid while in office, he is donating. Oh, yeah. Now, I do like that. As long as he does it. I mean, he's a billionaire. He don't need the money. No. You know, none of them really need the money. Which, uh, as of today, uh, I think a couple of days ago, I did see that Bernie Sanders has raised $44 million dollars to support his campaign, so you know he's already he's already getting those uh, those little you know what I call little kids, 25 and under, donating to his his cause. Uh, you know he's gonna be collecting their tax check if he gets elected. So. Yeah, that Bernie Sanders won't ever be in office. I mean, he, he's if he would have honestly been introduced, uh, you know, to the to the youth. Six months to a year prior, he would be above Hillary Clinton, but he's uh, too little, too late. And uh, at his age, well, I'm now hoping he don't make it till the next election. So now, unfortunately, Bernie Sanders and Tom Cruise won Oklahoma. Tom Cruise? Oh, uh, not Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, you know who the hell else is running? <laughs> Trump? No, um, Bernie Sanders. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. <laughs> Tom Cruz. Hey, run Tom Cruz. But they actually won Oklahoma. Yeah. Which surprised the hell out of me. I don't know who the hell voted. 
I, uh, I'm registered independent, so I, don't, I, I could have only voted for Democrat, and I wasn't going to be that deciding factor. Well, which I would have rather voted for Bernie Sanders than, than Clinton, so that's just me. Well, I mean, unfortunately, I didn't vote. One, I missed the day. Mm -hmm. um, my job has been working. I start my day every day at like 2 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't worrying about voting. <laughs> I vote when it really comes down to it, yeah, I guess. I will too. So. But, yeah. We rate this beer yet? No. <laughs> um, I chose you spin. Yeah. It's a great beer. You get a little sweetness. You get a little uh, maltiness. A lot of maltiness. A little bit of alcohol. I'm going to toss it that. God damn. I give it an 8. I give it an 8. And it's a perfect beer for what we're doing. Yep. Bullshitting, shooting the bull. Yep. So long video, I gotta go piss bad, so we'll be seeing you.